Hi, I'm Paul Atoll from PaulAtoll.com and I'm going to share tonight that uh, Settlers 2, 10th anniversary, works for the Mac. Well, first of all, it's my website, I'm going to cool stuff, lots of games, Dust, Amiga, Mazix games, but especially Windows games. And I'm going to focus on a specific game tonight, and that's uh, Settlers 2, 10th anniversary. Well, um, well, you can go several ways to the game page, using the here button from the blog. Or to go to game port plus Mac games or Mac game ports, and um, when doing so, uh, you can go from there to uh, strategy games because I put it on strategy. Yeah, strategy game. And then you can find it under Settlers 2, 10th anniversary. Let's see where it is. Set, set, set. Settlers 2, 10th anniversary. Um, if you don't own a game yet, you can get it using uh, GG.com using uh, the, the 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 cover here or the blog if you don't own a game yet you can buy it up here click on the add chart or log in and sign up create an account or if you already have an account you can log in and buy the game then as you can see, I already own it. You can read, the, uh, you can download the game, and this is the first GOG.com um, game which I know, which needs a serial. It's of course DRM free, and you can keep it everywhere, but that serial is very important. So you can find that serial on the on your account when you click on your well on your account page. I won't click it here, otherwise you will see mine, and that's not really the what needs to be happening. So, um, at least uh, download the game from your uh, account page. And then you still need the wrapper, which you can find up here. Just click on download now, and you can download the wrapper up here. So this too is called, then you click save file, and you can say put it on your desktop. Well, after done that, you will have the, the file up here, set this too. Click agree, skip, and then you will find uh, the file up here. And move the wrapper to the desktop, copy it to the desktop. After copying it to the desktop, as you can see, already done that, you can double click it, click on install Windows software, choose executable, and navigate to the to the Settlers tool file, which you have after purchased, uh, downloaded from the GG.com website. Well, I've already done downloading uh, the game from uh, from GG.com and put it already on desktop. It's 546 MB. Click and choose, and then it will uh, it will install uh, the game. How sweet! This is a sort of gold edition. But that's not the one. This is the 3D version. I really love this game. And for NVIDIA uh, video card users, this is uh, just working awesome out of the box without any adjustments. For a AMD Radeon ATI users, you have to do two changes in their graphical settings in game. Otherwise, you have massive graphical glitches, and you don't want to have that. Well, installation almost done. Click on Exit. And the first thing what you have to do is put it to setless 2 serialexe and you click OK. Then go Advanced. And click on test run. Now this will appear. And you have to enter the serial from well GG.com. And I'm gonna do that now and I will pause it a bit. Enter the serial there. And then uh, well this will appear. And you just click cancel. And then you change the start executable executable back again to uh, uh, bin and then to s2dng.exe 
that's a start executable which you will need to launch the game from this time. So after changing all this, it's done. You can uh, start the game. The cool thing about it, and I think my profile already saved this. There was one. Yes, it already saved the profile to be native resolution. In your situation, the the resolution will be set uh, to well, it's something in the corner up here. So you have to change it to your resolution here, full screen and stuff. Another thing, settings. Shady detail, if you have an AMD Radeon or if you have, um, well I'm gonna show you it in a second. Single player and I do the campaign and I'm gonna start. So as, you can a new see, beginning. so as you can see here, this is just good, but you will start with this. So and you say, whoa, what a big rabbits, but that's not the way. And if you build a house, it will be also, well, not good. So, in your case, you have to change this, shadow quality, put it to off. I know, I know, it's hard. But uh, for AMD users um, and ATI uh, users, this is still a problem. And perhaps, maybe, this will be fixed in um, uh, OS X 10.3... 10. Um, 10. 8.3. So, I'm still on 10.8.2 OS X version. Um, so, I'm still having those glitches, those big rabbits and stuff. So, I have to put it off. And as you will see, um, to low, sorry. Not off, otherwise you got, well, other problems like that. Uh, you're almost invisible. So, put it to low. And you will see it now here, still the rabbits. And shadow quality off. That's the only thing with AMD Radeon ATI users. So, now, well, the, the game can start now. Okay, you can zoom in and uh, so, cool. So, what I'm gonna do is I will put a house here. And I will do here and barrack. And then uh, build uh, this. It's just like playing Settlers 1. And here you can zoom in and you see those nice guys here. Alright, gonna make a uh, woodcutter's house here. Uh, here, I'm gonna make a. What can I build here? This is a farm. I can put that there. No, I don't. What's this? Direct flag? No. I can make a sawmill, I think that's better. Sawmill. I make here. I make a woodcutter's house, and I make here. Well, it needs a forester hut. So what I'm gonna make here is a flag, and I will make a road like here. So with this, I'm gonna road. Uh, I can make a road here because of those trees. I have to change that. Uh, can I make a road here? No, I can't. Oh, this is. I can. What do I want to destroy? Yes, I want to do that. Uh, well, I'll make here the road. Yeah, good old times. Alright, and there my first soldier will appear. 
Oh, my beautiful soldier. Well, we'll make uh, the heads of the forester house in here. Well, I can make now my Fizz's house here. Fizz's house. What I will make here, I make here my farm. 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 Is this amazing? It brings so much good memories of Settlers 1. I didn't ever play... Well, I did play, well, not much. Maybe one or two games Settlers 2 in a DOS version. In the past. But I played a lot Settlers 1 on my Amiga. What's my mission, by the way? A new beginning. Uh, After countless days in the eye of the storm, we completely lost our bearings. Drifting in the tre- Strange. Everything looks so familiar. The flora and fauna resembling so very much that of our native country. Yet I could have sworn that we had drifted far, of course. Our next task would be to ensure. Funny sounds and stuff. The woodcutter.
Oh. I didn't build the woodcutter. Well, then I should do that. Well, and so on and so on. This is amazing. Save. I already had one, but I will overwrite this. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Hope to see you back on Paul the Tall Calm. Enjoy this game and, um, well, spread the word and see you back on Paul the Tall Calm. Bye bye.